Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I want to talk about bringing back your ups to life. You have an uninterrupted power supply that you may have had for a couple of years and it no longer works. Well, I'll show you how to cheaply get it back in service. Real quick, just in case some of you don't know what an uninterruptible power supply is, a UPS, uh, basically is you know how you might plug your computers into the wall or you might plug them all into a power strip? Well, if, if your power goes out, your computer turns off. But if you have it on one of these guys, you basically um, plug this into the wall, then plug your computer and other items into the back of this, and then if your power goes out, it has a battery that will keep your computer running long enough so you can finish up what you're doing and then turn it off. But those batteries do not last forever. You need to replace them when um, like you lose power and everything turns off when it's not supposed to, which happened to me last week. Um, or it starts screeching or it says something about um, replace battery, that light comes on. So just a couple of indicators to let you know that your batteries need replacing. Now this is really really simple you don't you don't need to go out and buy a brand new ups you can get your old one back in service for about the third of the price if not even less and it'll be just like new so every power supply is different as far as how you open it this is a an older APC which is one of the more popular brands they'll usually um, first of all you want to make sure it's unplugged and it's turned off and you'll open it up and you will probably have to take these contacts off the battery and then you can remove the battery. Let me show you what the batteries look like. Um, this is the battery that came out of the APC and out of this bigger Belkin which is like a 900 uh, volt one it actually has two batteries that are sort of taped together and there's a jumper between them. Now don't throw this stuff out. Um, I'm probably going to have to reuse this jumper and uh, I might have to get some tape because what you could do, okay, I'm going to show you how you can um, get these things working cheap. You could go online and search for UPS batteries or you could take my word for it and go to Battery Mart. Now, I'm not, Battery Mart doesn't know I'm making this video, but I've been replacing my UPS batteries um, with this company, Battery Mart. I just go online, I put in, um, they have all kinds of batteries, not just UPSs, but you could go to UPS, select UPS, and then you put in your make and model, tells you what batteries to get. So, I ordered it on Sunday, and here it is Tuesday, and I already have it here, and I only ordered it um, regular UPS ground. Now this thing weighs 16 pounds, it cost me $11 a ship, standard UPS, and I got it in two days. So, really good bargain. Now I'm opening up this box with my K-Bar Mule, and if you go back a couple of videos, you'll see I have a contest going on where you can win a K-Bar Mule. And I'll go ahead and put the link uh, below in the show notes or description or whatever you want to call it. So go ahead and open that up. And shipping label. Oh, I hate these peanuts. Um, I'm going to put this on the floor. And we'll go ahead and take the batteries out. All right. Ugh. Nothing else in there but lots of peanuts. So here are the new batteries. So what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and replace the battery in this. 350 and I'm going to move this all aside for now. And I'm going to put these down on the floor. I don't want to mix up new with old. I get confused easy. And we'll go ahead and put this in here. 
Alright, so usually going to keep track of red and what color goes to what. Now, looks like this came with some extra plastic. I have to take the plastic cover over one of these. And, I mean, they, the batteries might not come exactly like the, uh, the old one. We'll pop it is. We'll put the black on the black and the um, red on the red. And I'll pop that battery back in there. Put the cover back on. And then we'll plug it back in the wall, and you got to let it charge up. So, unfortunately, out of the Belkin, it has a piece of tape here. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So, when I took this one out of the Belkin, this is the old battery. For this particular UPS, Good lord. <laughs> this one has a uh, compartment in the back. There were the leads. And I went ahead and, you know, took out this battery here. I'm going to zoom back in. And you can see that it's two batteries put together with a piece of tape. And there's some contacts here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape. I don't know. I, I, I'm probably going to have to get some some tape. But what you want to do is you want to um, set the batteries up the same way. See, this one is like this. You want to orient the batteries the same way. So this one is like this. This one is like this. And then I got to put the contacts. This jumper back the same way like that and like that and I'm going to have to get a piece of tape okay I'm back with scissors and duct tape <laughs> alright so I'll go ahead and tear off some duct tape I, I, I don't know if you should use duct tape for this but that's all I got I want to get it about the same length that I had this one. Alright, that looks about right. Let go. And then we'll go ahead and line these batteries up nice and straight. Now they're one piece. Again, red goes to red, black goes to black. And of course the pull that tab that we just put on the bottom has to go toward the outside. Red goes toward the inside. So go ahead and think of it as a puzzle. Put the red to the red. If I can get that on there. There we go. Got room for that black cable there. Get in there. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna put the black on the black. I saw a little spark there. Jam that all back in there. And where's the cover? Here's the cover. Ugh. Wow. Uh, I'll tell you, this was kind of tight fitting. 
Uh, actually, this is a 1200. This is a 1200 VA one, so this is a pretty powerful one. So we'll go ahead and plug this one into the wall again, so the batteries can charge up. Whew, I gotta tell you, to get that battery into that belt, it was tough. All right, so. Um, it could be easy like the AP series, or it might be a little bit difficult to squeeze the, uh, the batteries into some other. It all depends on how they were designed. Let me back up, I don't want to scare you. So, how much do these batteries cost? Well, for the uh, 350 there, the, the little ups, the beige one, you know, that thing probably cost me about $40 when I bought it. The battery was $20, that was about half the price. That Belgian was around $100 when I bought it and the batteries ended up costing about thirty dollars so about a third of the price so you know save yourself some money you don't need to go out and buy a new ups just because they don't work anymore you just need to pop a new battery in them so anyway um, contest last week um, I'll go ahead and put the link below and you can win some really cool prizes including this really nice K bar mule and I wanted to do that to show my appreciation for all 5,000 plus subscribers so also you know real quick um, Twitter I do have a Twitter account and every time I post a video I do put it on Twitter I'll go ahead and put the Twitter account name also in the into the notes below so if you want to subscribe because I know YouTube can sometimes be difficult especially when you get a lot of subscribers and uh, new videos from people that you want to watch get sort of lost and you never know that the, the person's been posting stuff you know I don't blame it all on YouTube I know if you have like if you subscribe to like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people um, some are gonna get lost so whoever's fault it is I don't know so, thank you very much, friends, viewers, subscribers, for joining me here again for another episode of the Gear Obsession channel. I hope you have a great evening. Oh, and thank you very much to those of you who served at, are serving in the military at uh, police, firemen, and other public servants. Have a great evening. Hope that's good. <laughs> Crap.